Thomas Baldrick at the 2014 ASH Conference with Dr. Elias Jabor from the MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas. Thank you for your time, sir. My pleasure. Thank you for having me here today. Let's discuss this randomized phase two study you have with uh, MDS patients. Okay. Now, MDS patients are divided into two categories, low risk and high risk. Treatments available today are azacitidine and decitabine approved by the FDA and essentially given for patients who are high risk disease. Now, the low risk, not all are low risk. So at Anderson, we went over these categories of patients, and in fact, some of the patients who are low risk, they are not low risk, quote unquote, meaning they have tendency to progress down the road. And therefore, having a watch and wait strategy for all these patients may not be very reasonable. One. Second, you know, these patients, they have a low count. They require anemia. They face gross factors. There's nothing to be done for them. So usually, you watch them, you give them gross factor, they don't respond. Eventually, you give them treatment. Now, the treatment given for minimal disease may be too tough and may not help these patients. So we decided here that since these patients may have an aggressive feature, even if they are quote-unquote low risk, and after trying lower dose schedule, we thought maybe lower dose schedule may benefit this patient population. So we decided to take patients who are low risk disease and give them two kind of therapy, either azacitidine or decitabine at a lower dose three days based on pivotal phase two trials and studies done. And the idea was to see if we can have a good responses and we can delay the transformation or delay the events. That is the primary input of the study. So, so far we have around 70 patients enrolled, and the treatment both, it's too early to make a comparison. Uh, we've seen responses about the third of the patient, they improve their count. It seems that the cytabine is better than azocytidine, although it's not yet enough. We need to get more data and longer follow-up. So at least today, we have a signal that in this patient population, quote-unquote, they are low risk, intervention may be warranted. Now you may say, well, these are not enough to make a change in a, in a community setting and a practice. Therefore, based on these findings, we went to the MBS consortium, and today we have a randomized trial nationally in United America, the whole country, uh, where patients with low risk MDS will be randomized to no intervention versus intervention. That will be a big change in the practice because eventually if we can show that early intervention can improve outcome of this patient, then everybody should be treated. So the study from the importance of these findings to give us a hint about the importance of early intervention and then take these findings to a larger scale and prove if early intervention is really better in a significant fashion than non-intervention. One question. Second question is, since we have two drugs, do we know which one is the best? Do we know what schedule is really the best? That is, hopefully we'll find an answer for this one as well. And we may say, well, this drug is better than this drug, or five days better than three days, or vice versa. These are as well uh, questions that will hopefully get answered to them. Third is, uh, with the era of genomics, can we personalize our treatment? Can we tell that patient A will get three days, patient B will get treatment B with five days? Hopefully, as well, we'll get some answers from a big, large study. So while you search for more answers, how do physicians incorporate the evidence that you have already? So today, you know, with the lack of clear recommendations, physicians are doing whatever they want. They may not treat somebody, they may treat them, but nobody knows. So at least with these studies, we can have like strict findings or at least the evidence of shall we treat or no? What kind of therapy? This question will help the whole community uh, and teach them how to handle patients with low risk MDS. Very good. Thank you, doctor. Pleasure.